What's going on, Charles Boats? This is probably gonna be one of the more important videos that I make this week, this month, this year. This is the year of yes, okay? Saying yes to the relationships, saying yes to the body, to good food, to waking up early, to going to bed early, to limit, limit the amount of alcohol, to reading more knowledge, loving peace, whatever the hell it is that you want, okay? The reason I say like that is because the world is trying to push everyone to mediocrity. Don't strive. Don't push, don't do this, be safe, be comfortable, be offended, be this, be that. They're trying to put things on you. It's not your fault, it's this person's fault. And they're trying to, to push the world into mediocrity. They're, they're, this is the thing, all right? The 70s, the revolution was love and happiness and pushing away from the societal norms. Then the 80s came along. The 80s was more about rock and roll and Top Gun and understanding that it was, it was cool to just go out there and, and enjoy because you're going for this sexual revolution to a rock and roll revolution. And then the 90s, which was more about Gordon Gecko and Wall Street and making money and, and, and obviously the Wolf of Wall Street and things like that. And you understand that the 90s produced the 2000s. In every generation, every 10 years, there's something that comes along that influences from the previous generation. The previous generation, we were at war, there's a lot of terrorism. This generation, the, these 10 years, 2010 to 2020, has been way less, uh, say, warring in the world. Child mortality at birth is down. Infant, uh, I should say, infant mortality. Uh, living longer, things like that. We are living in a in the best situation that we ever can. But society is influencing us through the food. When you have sugar, you're lost, you're confused, you can't focus, it rips up your insides, and you don't wanna do anything and you're unmotivated. When you look at porn, it's the exact same thing. You have no motivation. When you look at your cell phone, you just go right into there and you get the stimulation, but then you don't actually progress or you don't, you're not using it the right way. Video, TV, Instagram, Facebook, Amazon Video, Netflix, regular TV, football, whatever the case is, there's gonna be something that's gonna want your attention, okay? And as society moves to this weird conundrum of mediocrity, when in fact you can have it all, there are people like a Jordan Peterson that's gonna come through and break through. A Jordan Peterson or Grant Cardone and Gary Vaynerchuk where people give them all this attention. Tony Robbins is now a public, very popular fitter, figure, Peter Diamandis, all these people that are positive about the future, Elon Musk, who are just breaking through all the barriers of what we thought was possible, okay? Look at those people, because I'm gonna tell you one thing. The world wants you to be mediocre, mediocre. The world wants you to be mediocre. Why? Because it makes them feel better. Then they don't have to question themselves. If they see someone that's beautiful and really rich and successful and has an awesome relationship, they say, they're lucky. But if a lot of people do, then they say, what's wrong with me? Why don't I have that? What do I need to do? What, why was I not given the, the genetics for a great body or the loving family to make money or that spouse? Or why wasn't, why wasn't online dating available when I, those are all excuses, okay? As you start pushing forward, I've, t I've said it before from Grant Cardone, you're, you're first gonna get questioned when you start doing something new. Then they're gonna start making fun of you. And then they're gonna accept it. And then they're gonna love you. They're gonna question, why are you doing that? Why are you waking up early? Why are you reading? Why are you in such a great relationship? Why are you making so much money? Why aren't you giving back? Then they start making fun of you. Look at this guy. He wakes up at 5 a.m. This guy reads six books a week. What an idiot. What, who has even time for that, you loser? You probably don't even go out. Then they're going to accept it and they're going to say, okay, this is how it is. This is who the person is. So you have to continue while society pushes you back. And then guess what? They admire you at the end. They admire that you wake up at 5 a.m. I was questioned, personal development. I was made fun of, personal development. I kept on going, they accepted, this is what Charles does. The fourth thing, they now admire. Because they see the results. That's what you're after. Understand that everyone that did something great was told no, was made fun of, was doubted, was questioned, was told, you can't do this, all right? Before they did, before it was ex they were accepted and then admired. All right, so this year, in your year of yes, you have to understand that no one is gonna be for you. This is a lonely, single road that your journey 
and you're the only one on this path. It's yours to take or you're yours to lose. You know which one to choose. Have an awesome day.